Maybe I'm missing something. But for the life of me, I can't figure this out. I read and I read and I watch and I watch. Everyone wants to tell me how the world is going to hell. Everyone wants to tell me why. The environment is threatened by corporations. The police are racist thugs with guns. Amazon doesn't give their workers pee breaks. The Gaza Strip is an open-air prison. Wall Street is plundering the wealth of our country, and the IMF is raping the wealth of the rest of the world. All governments of the world's countries are corrupt. There is starvation when there is food. There is greed when there is need. And you are telling me. You are telling me as if I'm directly responsible. We had a response to this type of misdirected blame when I was a kid. It's your world, I'm just living in it. I think that it is apropos at this juncture in history as well. The alternative press, indeed the entirety of citizen journalism, is as effectual as a long drink of water. It isn't getting anything done, save to inform people that there are problems in the world. As if people didn't realize that. But they are pinpointing who is responsible, you might well add. Uh-huh. Well, that's the first step to changing things. Not. Not unless you also have their home addresses. Never in the history of this sad planet have so many bitched about so much. And it all amounts to nothing. It isn't changing a damned thing. I've yet to hear, storm the castle, lynch the bastards. We all know who is responsible for the nightmare that is the human condition. But as Mark Twain once observed about the weather, no one does anything about it. We all know what needs to be done, and yet we play the peaceful protest game made up by the very people that stand to benefit from such innocuous solutions. And we are left with only the idiots that burn down little Caesars. That'll show him. But things are not just that simple. There are various solutions to various problems, you say. I have always been what is known as a hammer mechanic. If you can't get it done with a hammer, use a bigger one. Of course, I could get into a lot of trouble calling for revolution here. But fuck it, I'm tired of everyone telling everyone else what is wrong. They are telling the wrong people. You tell Lloyd Blankfein about the misery he has caused in the world just before you tighten the noose around his neck. You tell Rupert Murdoch about the millions he has wronged minutes before you throw him out a 30-story window. You inform Bibi Netanyahu that he is a racist, murdering pig the instant that you toss him unarmed into a crowd of Palestinian prisoners. These people deserve no more justice than this. But what about the rule of law? You might well ask. Did you vote for a law that allows corporations to attain the rights of the individual? Did you vote for the Patriot Act? Did you vote to make Israel a state within Palestine? No. Well, who did all these things without your consent? I could go on forever, and have for years here, about what the roots of our problems are, and it won't change anything. A child can see how to begin to fix the inequities of this planet. But it takes a politically correct adult to avoid addressing the problems effectively. And it ain't about carrying placards or suing some company or other. It ain't about voting for yet another charming, greedy bastard. You know this. And yet you pee your knickers every time you think about doing the right thing. Putting your foot down. Getting a spine. So... 
Yes, I am calling for the revolution to begin. Don't let them convince you that anarchy isn't what you need to order off the menu. It cannot be any worse than this antiquated hierarchy that we live in today. Again, you know this, but you are afraid. You admire V for blowing up Parliament to the tune of the 1812 Overture and slashing the throats of the elite rulers. And yet, you pause at such rash solutions yourself. It makes us no different from them to sink to that level, I hear you say. Yeah. And? What you call out in all your bitching has a logical conclusion. Revolution is a revolution. It isn't watching YouTube videos about what we should be doing in the face of annihilation of our species by a few. You string them up. I don't know how I can say that any more clearly. V isn't going to do it for you. Jesus isn't going to do it for you. Muhammad or Kim Kardashian aren't going to fight your battles. I haven't been around much of late. This is the reason. I'm sick of all the bitching from people that don't want to sacrifice anything for a better world. When you get a group together with torches and pitchforks, give me a call and stop telling me about it unless you're ready to fucking well stop it.